Hello, today uh, we're going to show some demonstrations of uh, MIPS-based uh, Android uh, smart TVs. Uh, what we have here is uh, uh, an Android 2.2 based smart TV that combines many different features. It, it combines social media, the ability to do Skype, play local content on a DLNA server, uh, as well as uh, browse content on the internet. Uh, uh, here you see the, uh, the, the Android uh, UI. It'll, uh, it allows you to, uh, to connect to Facebook, so you can go select Facebook. It'll show your Facebook friends. Um, when it you know, loads up, you can actually send links if you browse for content uh, over, the, uh, 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 over the top content and you want to send a link to your friend, you can actually go and do that uh, through Facebook or other social media applications. You also have the ability to do different types of uh, video conferencing. It will allow you to do a, an IMS based video conference, Skype, uh, or uh, even you know, Facebook type applications. Uh, here you can select uh, different movies that you might have either on your local uh, DLNA server. Here you can see that you know, like there's uh, movies that you can select. You can go through uh, different genres of movies. If you want to see action movies, you can select that. It'll show you that. Adventure movies, you can select adventure movies. It'll show you all the different genres of movies. Here, again, television shows. So, again, it gives you uh, uh, the ability to, to select genres. These are all genres. Let's say that you will only want to see comedies. You can select comedies. And here are all the different comedies. So then you can come over, select one. It'll give you all the metadata, a description, and then it'll give you the options if you like that, and you can select an episode and play it. Here is uh, the most important uh, feature of an Android-based uh, television set or a smart TV is also the ability to, to, uh, to select TV. So you can have an, an electronic programming guide, and you'll see this in just a minute. Uh, it'll, it'll show you all the channels, uh, you know, your traditional electronic programming guide. You can go through and select a channel that uh, you would like to see. It will give you the metadata that will describe and eventually that will go away. So here we have a famous tennis player. In addition, you can still go through and select the Android based user interface or go back and perhaps select another channel. And then to go back to the home screen, simply uh, this will allow you to go back to the home screen. Uh, it allows you to store your music library. You can have on your uh, and you can have different folders: artists, albums, songs. So you can go through and, and, and browse for different music you might have. Also, if you have um, you know pictures stored, you can browse through you know, all of the different photos you might have. Uh, across your DLNA network. And then you have uh, different local sources. So here, we go to our home media server. It could be a PC, it could be anything that's DLNA compliant. You go through and let's say that you want to select videos. You can go through, select all videos. Here you can uh, select, uh, for, uh, for this example, an HD uh, uh, Born Supremacy movie. It'll bring up a preview window. If you like it, you can go to full screen. Start the movie playing.
And then you can also, with any other Android device, you can send this information to, to other devices on the DLNA, any other client uh, on your DLNA network. Go back or just simply go to the home screen. Then of course, uh, you can go to you know, perhaps uh, Chrome Apps, and you can see what's available. If you had Chrome Apps available, you could, you could see them. Angry Birds, Plants vs. Zombies, all your different uh, Chrome applications you might have downloaded. Pandora for music. And this is the simply the uh, Android-based applications that, uh, uh, that are uh, standard with every uh, Android uh, device. So, uh, so this is by a company called Home Genie. They uh, they created this uh, user interface. Uh, it's a, a partner of MIPS, and uh, the uh, the hardware in here. This is a uh, a Sigma 8670 board. Uh, running at 700 megahertz, so uh, very good performance. Um, next, I'd like to go to the, uh, our next demo.